Good day and welcome to Joso. Uh, my name is Edwin and this is as part two on the series of how to carry out bathymetric surveys. So, uh, like I said before in the previous video, we've done introduction on all the equipment you need. So we have our battery, our receiver, our transducer, the echo sander, the transducer to GNSS pool, and this is our boat clamp. Also, the life jacket and the boats that you will be using for the job. Now, we are going to talk about the connections, how to connect them when you are on site to do your project. So, before we continue, please hit the subscribe button, you can like, you can share, follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and on LinkedIn. Thank you very much, and uh, let's proceed to the exercise that we have for today. Okay, so uh, we want to start the exercise now. So the first thing we are going to do is to install the transducer on the pole and put it inside the water. So let me drop this down, bring this way. I'm not going to be using I'm not going to be using the three poles because we just we don't want the full length. So if you want the full length you can use the three. But for this exercise we'll just make use of the two the, the one that will hold the transducer and the one that we hold the GNSS. So to fix this into the pole, you make sure this hole, this hole that they drilled inside this place is on the same alignment as this place so you screw this into the hole if it does not goes in the transducer can fall off while you are working on site and you wouldn't want that because it can get damaged so make sure it goes in then you check if it's coming out if it's not coming out you are good to go so you just tighten it and then that's all we've fixed we've connected our transducer to our pole the next thing we are going to do is we are going to pass the transducer and the cables through our clamp so that we can fix it on the boat so this will come through here So once you fix your transducer to your to the clamp, you make sure it is very firm so that it does not move or it does not goes off goes off when you are working on water. Then finally, we are going to screw back the second pole that we hold the pole that we hold the GNXS. So we go through here.
After screwing the second pool, this will go inside the river. And also tighten this again to make sure it is firm. So. so this is our uh, water. As you can see the transducer is inside. So this will be your boat clamp holding the transducer to the side of the pool and this will the boat clamp will be holding the transducer pool. Okay, so we've finished setting up the transducer. So just take out our power cable for our echo sander and then we'll close this box and keep this aside. Now, if you notice, we did not use the third pole because this is just to extend the length of this pole. So this one comes in between. This will be on top. The one holding the transducer will be under. But we are not making use of this now. So we are also going to keep it aside. Next is to set up our echo sander. So this is our echo sander. If you look on the side of the echo sander, the left on the left side, it has where you plug in the transducer cable, and on the right side, it has a VGA port, two uh, COM ports. These are USB ports. It has two USB ports, and this is the power port. So we will be doing the various connections using this. Port. So, first off, we are going to plug in the power port. Now, this power cable is used for connecting with our car battery. It also it also has the power cable that you can plug directly to electric current. So, first off, we are going to plug this into the echo sander now. Losing the uh, port cover, fix this in, and then we'll tighten it in. Now it has screws so that in the case it moves or it falls or anything happens, it will not disconnect while you are working on site and the echo sander will not go off. So we'll keep this aside. Next, we are going to plug in the echo sander, the transducer plug. It's, come, it's coming to the left side of the echo sander. So once you put it, you also screw it in. So it does not shake or disconnect when you are working on site. Make sure you screw to the end. Then lastly, this is our connection cable for our echo sander to the GNSS or the GPS device that we'll be using for our positioning. This one comes in any of the ports. So we are going to use COM port 1. So Plug it into COM port 1 and also you tighten 
the screw to make sure it is firm. So we've connected all our ports. Now for our GNSS, this will come into our GNSS. First of all, let's screw our GNSS into our echo sander, our transistor pole. And then we can unplug this. So we finished all our connections. The last thing we are going to do is to plug to connect to our power source. So the black signifies negative, the red signifies positive. So on our battery terminal, you see here it is written plus and minus. So the black goes to the minus and the red goes to the positive. So once you plug in to your power source, you can now power, you can now power on your echo sounder. So it takes time to boot. So just give it like 10 seconds for the screen to come up. So our echo sander is on. The other things we need to connect is our USB for our mouse and also for our keyboard. So as you can see, the echo sander is on already. All right, so this is how to do your connections when you're on site for a bathymetric survey using the single beam echo sander. Now, just to take us a quick check of what we did our transducer is inside this pole and it is inside the water the same pole holds the gnss that provides the xy coordinate for our sounding positions the cables for our power it powers the echo sounder and then every other thing is connected so the echo sounder port is connected to the left side of the echo sounder the power cables the GNSS cables, the USB and every other port are connected to the right side of the echo sounder. So that is how to do your connections on site. So we encourage that you follow us on all our social media platforms. Hit the like, subs, uh, the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much and we'll see you on our next video.